All right, hi, welcome to the to a live game, 7.27D. This one's going to be SVG here. This is a rank 17. I think it's going to be a Snapfire 5. And we know that, you know, in 7.27D, Snapfire is actually pretty strong, right? It's a pretty strong laner. It's almost played in almost any lane except for the one. I think you've seen it in everywhere else, two through five. It has a lot of versatility. It's still very strong, and we're going to see exactly Just what Loa SVG does well here so we're going to kind of he's got a uh, specter lane partner so there's kind of a lot at stake in terms of just kind of creating that space space which is again what specter needs to get any sort of farm going it's going to be very important for him mm. but it's up against a i assume it's going to be a lena four axe three so that's probably the lane there versus you know a life stealer ogre lane and mid is going to be your zeus Gyro here is while DC is going to be the mid, and then we're going to see a Centaur Tiny. So, I mean, just in a nutshell, this this lineup. I mean, this kind of there's a ton of magic burst. So it's really going to come down to the center. What what time does he get the pipe? Is that going to be able to happen? And create enough space because they have a lot of burst, which could just destroy. I mean, Ogre's kind of tanky, but these three heroes could potentially be at risk. So they do need, do need to be a little careful. Lifestealer should be okay, but does fall off against a Spectre late game. So we'll see how this one turns out. So I would say it's pretty balanced. I don't I don't think it's, you know, any team has, you know, a huge advantage or whatever. But Ogre going super aggressive. Even the Rocket's going to be used. And they're going to try to focus him down, which is kind of crazy considering the Ogre is somewhat tanky. Yeah, I kind of want to see this. So Ogre running for his life. He gets the Avalanche there. And they, then he can just TP away. Really smart heads up play by the Ogre. You bait out all the stuns, you got the rocket, you create a lot of space. Um, once the avalanche was going to happen, it was... I mean, he was... Get, he went the right way, he was juking, and he was going to be out of there, but, you know, he tried to go for the avalanche just to kind of slow him down a little bit, but that's the perfect timing for the ogre to just TP away, and he's fine. So the snap here... Just trying to go for denies, and obviously just kind of... Harry out the axe, which isn't the easiest of things to do. He does have... Rage and he's gonna get gone up here. That's gonna do a lot of damage. The dagger is gonna be used. The scatter blast, which is the first skill he went. Ooh, doesn't he? Very close. Is he gonna tick away? Oh, he's at 25. Just times that perfectly as he salves on up. He should be fine now. LSA is gonna be a little off the mark there. And actually, I think we saw Iwi yesterday in a game. So I, he seems to be very consistent in terms of his play and timing. But. SVG here does have a sentry, has burned through quite a lot of regen, is has is buying more. Now how many supports here, even as a position five? Is that in the box? Oh shit, it is in the box. Okay, so he's gonna have to He places the sentry to make sure that he gets it, and then he just denies it himself. So this is a smart play. I mean something that you can do in Dota, very different from what you could previously. Like you couldn't do that. So now that you've got that um, Iwi here just trying to go for a pull. It's not going to happen. And he actually helps uh, the Radiant team get that pull off, at least with that range creep. Scatterblast is going to be slow. The LSA is going to hit onto Spectre. Oh, the Snapfire Cookie is a little off the mark, and Iwi just kind of backs away. Snapfire Cookie, man, if that connected, though, that might have been first blood. It would have been very close, especially with that Spectre there, but... He's got more regen on the way. This is what you needed. And perfect time for the pull. And he notice how he stops? And then he lets the range creep throw out the projectile. And once that projectile is in the air, then he can kind of get to the creep, and then he can get that aggro in. So if you're wondering why he stopped instead of just continue to walk. Because the range creep isn't in range, and so he's going to continue to chase after you, and he, they will not aggro you. And the creeps are, then will not be pulled. So just understanding why they do these like micro steps, so to speak. So they've done a good job in terms of pulling, but Spectre is getting a little low. The LSA did connect. They do have uh, hunger on him. He's going to back up here. And Axe is only level 2. I mean, the Spectre is 2, but doesn't really have... Okay, they're going to use the Salve on the Spectre. Good supporting there. Buy him a little bit more time. Make sure that he's got some sort of life regen. I mean, that, that that's a big, big thing for the Spectre here. 
Because if you're completely zoned out and you're waiting for your courier to get it, oh, the scatter blast does connect as well as the LSA. They've got the ang the hunger on him. He does need to back up here. Does need to be a little bit careful. Lena's about half life. Snapfire is ticking down, and that's starting to do a little bit of work, but it's only level one. Specter getting a couple shots here as he's trying to spin. Hang on, I gotta see what Axe is actually skilling. He's gonna go two into battle hunger, which is about normal. Snapfire, on the other hand, is just going to tango up himself. They're both level 3. Scatterblast is going to be used. They do have a lot more creeps. And uh, he actually... Okay, this is good in the sense that you're tanking a lot of the, the hungers for the Spectre. Because if they focused on the Spectre, like, it would have been better, I think, for the lane. Like, like yeah, the Snapfire is low, and they keep going for him. And Snapfire's like, alright, I'm cool with this. Because, yeah, he just backs up or whatever. But I think that they really needed to focus this on the Spectre. And it's a matter of clicking on him. And, I mean, yeah, he's got two Ring of Regens or whatever. But it's not that much to keep him alive. Okay, so now the Anger is going to be used. Snapfire because over him. Oh, and SVG kind of messed that up. And LSA is going to get the stun. And Nui is going to Fairy Fire back away. They need the first blood. So if Nico can kind of get him, he got one more shot. He should have it with a dagger there. The Courier is in position. The Spectre is not going to get there. So they did trade in the end, and that was super close. But it comes back to that Snapfire cookie. He hits that one. He gets that stun. And that completely changes thing. And then they probably would have gotten Ui, the, Le the Lena, a lot sooner. And they would probably would have gotten first blood with that. Five minutes here. They've completely backed off. Axe has probably gotten the rune. Snapfire's not even going to waste time looking. Because he knows exactly where Axe is, right? Nice little ward. They've got Call. They've got Nico, the LSA as well, as well as the Hunger and well, Thunder God's Wrath on top of that. And this is where things get rough. LOA. Ooh, okay. He dodges the LSA with the Snapfire Cookie. Dragon Slave. Okay. An Avalanche. Scatterblast. And Lena went too far. Nice rotation by the Tiny there. But they're both level, I mean, level two, level three snap. So it's not like they can do too much. Spectre is TP here. He's looking to trade something. Okay, he trades him back to South. Okay. So he pays him back in spades. Fair fair trades. But it's 2-2. Two, two. Last hits, right? This is the worst. 16-2. and two. This is rough. LOA, I, I feel like he needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Especially since there's no Lena here. He needs to kind of push him back. Force Axe to react to him. Because if he just sits on the creep wave, it makes it very difficult for Spectre to get anything going. The potential call, just a lot of that. And so Axe is also playing smart in the sense that he's kind of playing safe, waiting for the Lena to come, which we did see in the minimap with that D ward of that ward. And here's LSA. Or sorry, the Dragon Slave. It's on to two, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. LSA now will connect. The D... Okay, okay. All right, just spamming willy-nilly. And they did end up getting the ogre in the top lane. All right, and Axe now just continuing to farm. He's continuing to bully. He's not cutting the creeps, though. So he's doing it right in front of him. But I guess he doesn't really need to be too worried. His Axe, that is. Axe is trying to... He's going to stop the pull, make sure that... Nothing happens from SVG. They got the nice little call here. And, and the Dragon Slave. Oh, the cookie. But he's not on the high ground. And he's so slow. He's trying to walk through. Oh, the LSA is going to miss. Here comes a TP from Tiny. And the Dragon Slave will then connect. They got the Avalanche. And he's going to go high ground. Interesting enough, the, snap, uh, the Tiny. I think he was a little hesitant. I mean, I don't think he hit him to begin with. But this is turning into a rough lane. Call again. They have them. And they also have the LSA Tiny. Okay, Snapfire is going to now TP. The Thunder God's Wrath is going to be used as well. And just it's just too much burst. This is too much. It's too much. It, it's difficult. Like, Axe loves a melee carry to go up against. And he's level 6. And especially with Thunder God's Wrath just kind of just securing those kills. Oh, they're hunting. They want SVG. They have the team, the LSA, just the burst. So this is why Lena is strong. And Axe is uh, going to use Calling Blade there, just kind of locking that one down. And uh, Spectre, yeah, really can't farm anymore. So he's going to go TP into the mid lane, just get out of there, just go into the jungle, do what you can. 
because this is uh, turning into a rough game for you, especially since you have the lowest last hits of all of the cores. Very worrying here. Axelina, it's a very strong lane. <clears throat> Even Ogre's bottom. Life Stealer doesn't need the support anymore. And uh, Tiny hasn't been able to move, maneuver around. Holy crap. We have a level 7 Life Stealer top. And they're already bashing down the T1 bottom. Oh, he doesn't get the last hit, though. Axe, buddy. You literally have one job. Come on, buddy. Get your head in the game. Okay, here comes the first rockets. Avalanche. Toss. And the missile will hit and snap our cookie, and that's going to secure that one. That's great in terms of just taking away some of that space. And he was kind of on a roll, so streak going the way of uh, Gyro there. And he's going to... TPs are going to come right to the mid lane, especially since it's pushing. Zeus is still tops in terms of the last hits. And, uh, we're going to continue to push here. Spectre is level 6, though. Snapfire, on the other hand is not at 10 minutes. And he's so slow, does not have boots. And he had to buy a lot of regen. And that was like the biggest worry. I think in my opinion, like he should probably should have gone back and just stacked more. I mean, Spectre is not the greatest, you know, stack taker, so to speak. But I think it would have helped them long term. Maybe for the gyro, you know, the rocket barrage. Okay, all right, here we go. 10 minutes is going to be used. Now let's go into free cam. They found Lena and they found Zeus. So Stampede is perfect for that kind of stuff. These are the ones that are squishy, and they they don't really have those escapes, so to speak. So getting on top of them, you know, the Centaur Stampede on top of the stun, and those pretty much are just sitting ducks. Tiny's level 6. Snapfire is now 6, so they're in a way better spot. And uh, Spectre level 7 with Blade Mill, no boots. I think it's on the way. Yeah, boots and the salve. Axe continue to push. And I feel like Axe needs to be pushing. He needs to be putting pressure here. Like, he's going to push the lane. Yeah, you can take all these creeps on your way out. But forcing somebody to be here, like, gives you this much space, right? I'm just going to draw it out, right? Like, this is super important, right? As opposed to this much territory, because this provides those, you know, the, the two jungle camps, right? and access to your jungle as well. So the outpost, yes, it gives vision and everything, but it, it, it's about as, taking as much of the the, new, the neutral camps and just kind of owning the map. It's super important. Snapfire here. Slowly skedaddling to the mid lane. Gyro has drums. Okay, so he could fight. Here comes the barrage, or what is this? Yeah, it's uh, the new immortals, man. They're throwing me off. Okay, gets the barrage, but Lena's there. and There's really not much Gyro can do. This is a potential disaster in terms of magic. Okay, has the hood, but is not going to complete it for the pipe. I really think they need the pipe, but I think he's going to go blink into the pipe. Just so they have some sort of initiations. Oh, more kisses. He's trying to find the life stealer who rages away. He's got armlet, but yeah. With the uh, more kisses just barely missing. Should be fine. And this is great. This is what Axe needs to do. He doesn't need to be hitting the tower, but these creeps being able to push like this, it's doing chip damage, right? So somebody needs to rotate. Basically, again, then you're forcing, you know, potentially five or four heroes being in this area, right? Because one hero has to be here so you can find your ganks. <clears throat> this off lane, this is how you play it. Create space. Oh, Stampede. And they've got the centaur. He was too deep. I don't know what he was doing in between all of those guys, but even Spectre taking some damage. He's just trying to farm here. We're looking at net worth now. I think this is more important. Telling of the game. Gyro's done tops, but the Spectre, again, is kind of falling off there. Oh, they get, did get Zeus. Gyro got him, but he gets killed in return. Ooh, they got him. And they got the tiny as well. Nice call. Right back in. Okay, now, Axe, sometimes they'll go Blade Mail first, they'll go maybe Crimson, Pipe, whatever, and all that stuff. But this is a team that really needs his initiation. They don't have anything. As long as he controls and makes sure that the Zeus and the Lena are fine with the calls and the blinks and all that stuff, like, he doesn't need to be that tanky hero. 
up front. All he needs to do is just make sure that he buys enough time for this potential burst, which is kind of crazy, just blows him up. So this is why Blink First on this axe is actually fine. Okay? You got to understand why you go certain items, what you do. Like, normally I would be like, oh, you know, this went Blink First, he has no damage. But it's really on your other team. Like, if you're looking at this team, like, he's got BOTs everywhere. Oh, Hunt. Nico's going to be moving in. He's going to go right for uh, Zeus, but he gets Fire Blasted. Avalanche. Snapfire. Toss. And the blood will pay with his life here as he uh, trades for the Haunt. And uh, if we're looking at this, it's 9-9, right? So Radiant kind of has stemmed the bleeding. They're in a better spot. I mean, yeah, they're down 6k or whatever, but this is just a matter of time. This is just getting Spectre some space. If we got the... Looking at the kills, yes, SVG stole that one. Probably wouldn't have been better if Spectre got it, but you've created all this space. This is exactly what you need to do in terms of dealing with the Spectre, or sorry, with having a Spectre on your team. Lifestealer is in, and he's looking to fight. He does have Armlet. With Zeus kind of making his way back from the river. Oh, he's in his vessel. They've got smoke. They're going to do a fake back. Oh, but they've all smoked. I don't know if they saw that. Does it look like they're looking to hunt? This is a sentry ward. Axe is about to go up blind. Smoke hasn't been popped yet, so he's been kind of quick. He's looking for the specter. He sees him now. He sees him now. The smoke has been popped. He blink calls, and then the infest bomb, and there we go. And the LSA on top. Fire blast. Thunder God's wrath will secure. Oh, excuse me. Lena gets that kill. Um, just lack of vision. Okay, Tiny gets away. The nice little three-man avalanche there. And Axe is still around. TP's away. And, uh... Okay. Alright, Axe is gonna TP back to the top lane. Centaur is looking to cut creeps to just put a little bit of pressure here, but they found the Centaur now, and that's a nice little timing. Blink, right when the, uh, you know, the Life Stealer was there, he's gonna try to stampede. He does have Hood, but I don't think... Oh, he's gonna look to TP. They don't have the stuns, and Centaur does get away. Nice little play there, just making sure that he's far away as possible with the stampede. And, I mean, Ogre and, you know, the Lena are the only ones that can really stun. And Zeus is by himself, just trying to deward. He gets killed here. He gets picked off. So that's, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good trade, right? Considering, you know, Zeus is top in the terms of the net worth, so. All right, so a DD here on this Gyro who has Yasha. He's going to be just running up on this T1. He don't care. The LSA does connect, and I don't know what he was doing. The Snapfire Cookie was there as well, and Culling Blade, and Gyro, what are you doing? He's going to look to, no, no, the LSA, he's too fast. And a double kill going away of Axe or Hands at this point. Fizz, I think it's called. Uh, especially with this Cutting Blade that's with this immortal skin. Um, you get juked. You got juked a little bit. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, the Gyro thought he was fine. He was just taking on the tower by himself. I don't know. I'm trying to justify something. I don't really know what he was trying to do, but... He pays with his life. Just really bad position. He thought he was fine with the Snapfire behind him. I don't know. That seemed like a really odd position to be in. And that's kind of how you throw it. They had a nice pick off of the Zeus. Um, but yeah, not great. Zeus here, on the other hand, has almost got Ags. And that's going to be a pretty huge spike. Ogre's got just nothing but Tranquils and a Smoke and a Prayer. Here's Gyro. And they're going to look to just kind of focus this up. Um, the rocket is going to be go. Uh, this this immoral thing is throwing me off. Oh, it actually turns into a rocket. No, it runs around, but it's going to hit in it's just trying to farm the ancients here. Hood, Ellis. Okay, so Lena? I mean, she got some nice little pickoffs here, but in terms of uh, actual net worth, she's starting to scale in. She's actually kind of close to the Spectre, which is kind of crazy, but she hasn't really died. Oh, no, she's died three times. But she's gotten, she's been there for the nice pickups. Nimbus as well. The Dragon Slave is going to be connect, but here comes the Haunts, and they turn this around. There's a nice little Centaur stop there until Blink. Avalanche, and then TP away, and they got him, and Axe is now going to come in, but they've already gotten two. The Rocket Barrage is going to be committed. Just connecting onto one, and that's poor old Axe there. He's going to navigate the Nimbus. He's going to back here. He doesn't have Stampede, and he's going to go wait for it, and then TP away, but the call... Snapfire Cookie is not going to be enough, and now Snapfire is in a bad spot. 
as he needs to run here. They do have Infest on this. He's been slowed as well as the Hunger. The Infest is now going to be committed. And Tiny is near, but really not much. The Avalanche, he's going to rage. And the Snapfire Cookie just saves the Tiny as he backs away. So they got a two for two. And these two are becoming a problem. They're very strong. I mean, the fact that he has Desolator and Armlet. Blink Pipe, really nice. I mean, this is a decent amount of magic. Like, Tiny and Gyro have a lot of magic burst. It's it's quite surprising in terms of how much they just take you from zero, you know, 100 to zero, so to speak. So this is a really nice pickup by Axe here. All he needs to do is survive and keep his team alive. Avalanche connects onto two though, but Sogard gets killed here. Calling Blade, just way too much. Like these two, this Axe is a very good player. Lifestealer's on point two. He's been, you know, if you've got a good vehicle, in the sense that this Axe is eight, one, and five, you're gonna have a pretty good game, right? I think that cores like a carry, like the best thing for them is to have a really good offlaner, somebody who can kind of, <clears throat> I mean, you control the battlefield, you create space for you to farm, and they're they're in the driver's seat right now. If you're looking at this, I mean, the Spectre, yes, he had a poor lane, but he's got Yasha and Blade Mill and 20 minutes, and. Uh, Aegis is going to be used up, or sorry, he's going to be picked up by the Zeus here. He does have Agonims, which we know. He's going to go Kai up next. Bloodlust is going to be used as well. I just feel, I, I find it so funny seeing big old Zeus like this. <clears throat> and he's going to pick up a Haste. He's going to be supersonic speed. I mean, with the bottle. <clears throat> Tiny hasn't been able to make plays. He's about 40 gold. Okay, he just bought out the Blink. He's got it, which is going to be pretty massive. Something they needed to do. Clumsy Net should be given to somebody else. They're putting a little bit of pressure in the bottom T1. Glyph is going to be used. And... Alright, it looks like the Dire are going to make their way. And they don't need to kind of... They can just stick together. Like, just 5-man it. It's very difficult to fight in this lineup. Like, Axe just stays around. I mean, if they go on the Zeus or the Lina, then you have Axe just kind of coming in as, like, the big old bully. But it looks like they're going to take this T2 unscathed here. I mean, they traded for the T1 bottom, so not the worst thing. And they found Tiny, who gets tossed. He, Tiny thought he could get the jump on him, but no. Axe, that was actually Axe's low from home. And he gets killed here. So they're trying to make a play. They have a smoke, but without Tiny for 28 seconds, I don't think you can even fight this. Especially since top three net worth right now are going the way of Dire. Spectre just trying to find farm. And he actually goes into the enemy jungle. It's the safest spot right now. Axe here. Sorry, Snapfire. No TP, but has four sentries. He's been suffering. He hasn't been able to do much, to be honest. <clears throat> Zeus here continuing to deward. Take over all of this map control. Stampede, they found two! They found the Life Stealer as well as the Axe. Mortimer Kisses is burning around. Axe is getting a little low. He does fall in the end. So that's a pretty massive kill going the way of Gyro. Oh, they've got the LSA and they return kill on the Gyro. The LSA and the Fire Blast. Just way too much. That with the burst from Zeus. And this comes back to the lack of the pipe. This is pretty massive. Absolutely massive for the team. If, if the enemy team has a Zeus... Somebody has to go first item pipe, okay? It's going to do wonders for you, way more than this blink ever would have done for you. Because it keeps the rest of your team alive. And that burst, okay, let, let's just put this into perspective here. If Axe, okay, sorry, just looking at this thing, right? 10% regen, magic resistance, plus it blocks 400 magic damage. Blink, stun, center stomp, okay, so they've got the Lena here. But okay, Thunder God's Wrath, right? This is the, the big one. It does 400 damage, level 2 Thunder God's Wrath. Okay? I know that innate, you know, innate hero magic resistance is there, and actually it's not going to be this even, but basically your 400 damage from the Thunder God's Wrath is completely mitigated by that item. Right? And that's a level 2 Thunder God's Wrath. Blink, stun. Nice little play. And they've actually got him. He's going to try to rage and hop in. He hops into his Uber, he backs off, he gets the Bloodlust as well. 
No speeding ticket, and it looks like this Uber will be on his way out. He stayed on the high ground, just got as much chip damage as he could. And he saw that, yeah, it was a little scary. A couple heroes here, blink stun, all that stuff, but they didn't really have the burst, especially with the the axe in waiting. Blink, oh, they found the Snapfire, though. That on top of the Nimbus. Rage, and it looks like they're going to try to hide under this T2. Okay, he looks to turn this around, but it looks like I don't think that that's where you want to be. The Stampede is going to be committed. They got the toss, but that, again, you don't want to toss him into him. And Tiny will die for, for that as well as the Centaur. Not much you can do. This Lifestealer's got Basher. This is not looking great for them. Okay, Lena does have Yules, and Aether is took him to like a pretty strong position four versus this Tiny who just has... Tranquil's uh, blink, right? It was a really late blink in, in, in that. I think it was like 22 minutes or so. So, I mean, it's a losing game, right? But you do have Manta on Spectre. Once he gets Basher, he could potentially fight. He's looking to continue to split push. He is level 16. I mean, there's two level 18s on that team, so a little worrying for them. And uh, they're very strong in the sense that they kind of just stick together, just push. Make sure you got all your alts. I mean, you got your infos coming up here. Thunder God's Wrath. No. Oh, it's up. Aegis was just um, used up there. And BKB on the Gyro, who hasn't been able to do too much. I mean, I feel like he gets he's very squishy. Oh, they see him. They see him. I saw a ping. Sticking around, they're gonna wait for Roche. Oh, he walks up to the gyro. He gets the call. The Nimbus is actually cutting off his retreat. And here comes the uh yeah, just the magic damage. He's gonna have to BKB now, but I think it might have been too late. The haunt was used as well. They found the clumsy net and they found the Lena, so they got something out of this. And they've got the Lena as well as the Ogre, but they traded that for the gyro. Okay, if we're talking about trades though, a little bit of gold swing going the way of Spectre. Oh, he, they found this uh the Zeus. So they got something. The Snapfire Cookie is going to connect on the two, and that was Gucci. Stampede is there, and they've got Zeus, and they're trying to burn him down. The Spectre is going to be there to clean things up. And they got the Toss as well. More Kiss is bouncing around, but I don't think they're going to actually connect on this. The Clumsy Net slowing him down, and that's going to be a good kill going the way of Nico. So he just got three kills in a span of a minute, and he's kind of back in business. 18, look at this jump. Right? 18 to versus 19, right? Net worth lead? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's technically still losing, but he's getting back in there, right? Once he gets Scotty, they're going to have a problem, right? Lifestealer here, yeah, he's golden or whatever. He's doing pretty well. He does have a BKB in addition to this. There's just, like, look, the burst and the stuns, that's what he needs to keep himself alive from, right? Yes, he has rage, but this is a nice item pickup. How many Lifestealers and your, your pubs are buying a BKB when they have rage? They're like, oh, no, I'll just rage it. It's like, no, sometimes you can't. And that's why you need that BKB to just cover things up. Oh, he's by himself, though. And he found the Snapfire. Snapfire Cookie. Scatter Blast. And yeah, he gets killed here. And they found the Gyro as well. And it looks like it's going to be a trap in the sense that they thought they were safe. But Tiny blinks in. Gets the little save. Tosses him back. And he actually saves the Gyro. But will he pay with his life? Lifestealer is on his trail. He does a phase. And here we go. He gets forced away. And the Nimbus is going to be outside of that. And they get the Bash there. And Sogard will then die. To the uh, Laguna from Aretes. From the Lina there. No BKB was used. And it was just a matter of armlet toggling. So, Lifestealer, just tremendous value, right? He's like, if BKB was on cooldown, that's a time to attack him. But the fact that, like, he didn't even commit BKB, look at this guy, he's no fear. And he could probably do it now. Laguna, there we go. Yule's on Gyro. And they found it. And they're going to look to turn this off with the armlet. He just turns it around. And he thinks, oh, I'm I'm the weak one. He's like, no, 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 no. You're the weak one. I got him. The Snapfire Cookie, not to the high ground. But he does get away. Life Stealer does need to be a little bit careful. He does have his armlet on. But yeah, he's just going to bash through these uh, ancients here. They found the Snapfire Cookie, who should tick away. They do have the Lightning Bolt and Queen of Bait. Living up to his name, baiting out the Snapfire. Glyph is going to be committed. Slow things down. The next creep wave is here, though. Zeus got BOT, so he's going to push the bottom lane. Does have 16 souls on the Bloodstone. 
but yeah, they haven't been able to commit too much. They haven't been able to get anything going. I mean, to make a dent in this 15k, they had their opportunities, but it felt like they just kind of threw things away. Shovel, Dragon Skull, and the Ogre. Been largely silent. I mean, he's been on point in terms of his Fire Blast, but I feel like almost anyone could have been in position 5 here. Like, even myself. Like, I don't think this is a game. Like, this is the cores have been in control of this game. They don't really have anything to worry about. Blink, Avalanche. Okay, here we go. And they got the Culling Blade. This axe has been on point. This guy's been a menace. He's died, what, three times? 10, 3, and 11? He's been he's controlling everything. He's just he's been on point. His Blink Calls have been, like, amazing. He's been great in terms of this Lifestealer. And they see Roshan. They've got the Courier there just to kind of scout things out. Pop Lincolns. And here we go. This is going to be the second Roshan of the game. Aegis and Cheese. Hunger's going to be used. It's not like Roshan had a chance. But Spectre. E okay. He's, uh, he's got his ultimate orb. But I think you need to start saving up for buyback. Which is kind of what he's doing. Found the snapper. Uh, Haunt is going to be used, and they're going to look to fight this, but he's fighting right under Nimbus, and Nico's getting a little low. He doesn't really have the mana. Oh, man, this is scary. He's going to get... Oh, he gets slowed down here, and he gets blown up. Yeah, he got forced, but his dead body got forced. Buyback from Snapfire. They have buyback, but this is going to be super rough. Like, this this Lifestealer has just been a menace. He's just so strong. And the, dis the BM pause... That's interesting. I think they just wanted to kind of just trash talk a little bit here, but I don't think that they're going to keep it paused for long as they just turn their focus on the T2, T3, excuse me. Buy back from Tiny. But without Spectre, you can't really fight. Oh, the nice little blink in. Oh, they turned it around. The Centaur is there as well, and they did get the axe. who went a little too deep. Lena's down as well, but Lifestealer's looking to fight this. He's actually healing through this. He does have BKB. He's going to just continue to fight this Centaur, just chunking through him. He's doing a lot of work, and now he's got Rage. And he does need to, He does need a vehicle. He doesn't have an Uber. People are starting to back up. Oh, the Avalanche and the Aegis has now been popped. And that looks like a bad fight now, especially without that Axe there. Lifestealer, can he get away a second time? Uh, he goes in, he get, does have the Abyssal, he's gonna look to turn this up, and he's just focusing on Nico, and Thunder God's Wrath is there, and they just do end up killing him. And they found the Tiny as well, and yeah, with the Dragon Slave there, excuse me, the Laguna. That's pretty much all she wrote at this point, just focus on these Raxes. I mean, no buyback, I mean, he bought back already, right? So that's a dieback for the Spectre. But, this is, uh, how you close games out, Right? There were some minor misplays by the Dire. But in terms of what they could have done better, Radiance? I mean, there were a number of things. Uh, laning was one issue. Stopping the Axe, you knew it was going to be a problem. I think that you need to do a better job of stacking, figure out ways to kind of get Spectre back into this game. You really can't just assume that he's going to outplay the Axe. It, it's, it's a, I would say, 60-40 matchup in favor of Axe. So just playing it, it wasn't going to really happen. All right, Life Stealer here. I mean, Gyro, yeah, has been pushing top, but I think it was a last pick Life Stealer because he counters pretty much all that they want to do here. Like the Gyro, who's just straight up magic damage. Like this guy falls off. Like this is a problem. <clears throat> and it looks like they're camping the fountain. Not really much they can do. They're going to get Megas here. Axe is like, I don't care. I'm going to go for the T4s. Nimbus is slowing down the Gyro. Yules. Making sure he's not going anywhere. And yeah, they got the gyro. Double Nimbus just in case. T4s getting chunked down. Even this Lena was on point. Look at the, like the net worth. Holy crap. Higher than the Centaur. Almost neck and neck with the Spectre. And that's a position for Lena. Whew. So yeah, very good game by the Dire. I think there was no weakness on this entire team. Everything they did was so smart. On point. Everything that they were going for. Really well played by the Dyer there. So hats off to them for that. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to see the graphs here. I mean, just to kind of see. It was pretty much straight down, right? Straight in favor of the Dyer. Yeah, there's a tiny little, you know, pick up here in terms of XP. But, like, the laning was rough. That was, like, the biggest thing. We're looking at Death alone. Snapfire died a lot. 
I felt like the gyro was a really underwhelming. Um, wasn't able to get on to the Zeus as fast as possible. Centaur needed to get piped way sooner. This is a huge mistake by him. Tiny it seemed like a non-factor. Wasn't able to get the ganks and roam around. And then look at this damage. 40,000. 26,000. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the thing, right? The Zeus, just being able to just kind of sit back. This is like the perfect Zeus game for him. It was hard to... Like, you think that the Spectre can haunt in. You think that, like, the Tiny can be blinking on top. And, like, the Centaur Stampede and all that stuff. But, like, when you have a good axe and you have a good life stealer, like, controlling everything. Making sure that nobody gets jumped on you. Like, you're going to have a good game like that. So, all right. I hope you like what I'm doing. Please give a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much.